I have a corridor model that has a standard cut ditch that's nine feet from the edge of pavement with a front slope of six to one. There's a high point around station 57 plus 25, and the cut ditch near the high point is very flat. So I need to modify the cut ditch so that it has a minimum slope of 0.5%. So what I've done is I've created a new DGN file called ditch controls, and I've referenced up the corridor model to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a horizontal alignment for the portion of that ditch that needs to be modified. So I'll go to geometry, single offset partial. And I'm gonna set the offset to zero because basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a horizontal alignment by tracing the ditch line from the corridor model. And I'm gonna give this a meaningful name, call it ditch control on the right side, starting about 56 plus 25. So I'll follow the prompt. It's asked me to select the element. So I'm gonna select the ditch line from the corridor model. And I'm gonna start it down here. The, the ditch line starts around 56, 25. And I'm gonna be conservative. I'm gonna cover plenty of area. I wanna cover as much area as I need to cover the area of modification and a little bit more. I'll snap to the end. So now I've created a horizontal alignment. You can go ahead and turn off the display of the corridor model at this point. Now you can see more clearly the horizontal alignment that I've created. So now I'm going to use that to get, open up a uh, <clears throat> profile model of the area that I'm interested in. I'm gonna turn the display of the corridor back on. In the profile model, I'm gonna use <clears throat> something called a 3D cut to display the existing corridor model ditch profile. So that is a cut through the corridor model showing me the standard cut ditch and you can see how flat it is up at the top. Now, when I create a 3D cut like that, I need to make sure that it's snappable. So I'm gonna to go to the reference and turn on the snaps. So now I'm ready to go ahead and create a pro proposed vertical alignment for my ditch modifications. I'm gonna turn on my civil AccuDraw I'm going to put it in elevation mode, station elevation mode, and then use analyze point to find the ditch high point. And I'm just going to click on a few areas to see where the high point is. These snap points are where the template, the templates have been dropped at the intervals in the roadway corridor. And it looks like the high point is at station one plus zero zero at elevation of 168.677. So I'll take a note of that. And that's, that's the high point. That's where I'm going to begin the ditch modification. I'll go ahead to profile line between points. And I'll begin my line there. I'm going to give it a meaningful name. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this mode, civil AccuDraw mode, to slope. I'm going to go ahead and lock in a slope of 0 0.5 is my minimum. And you can see that slope is now locked in. I'm going to extend this ditch modification up to the point where it intersects the standard cut ditch. Unfortunately, with section cut graphics, you can't use microstation tools like extend to intersection. So I'm just going to zoom in and that will work just fine. So now I've created my vertical alignment. The last step 
is to set this as the active profile to associate it with that horizontal alignment that I created earlier. And then lastly, make sure you delete the 3D cut line that was created earlier. And that's it. You're all done. You can now give this to the roadway design team and they can use this information to modify their corridor model so that your new ditch profile will show up and be reflected in the model and any cross sections.